Oops. Yeah, you're fine to go. You don't need this. And he says, you're all dismissed. Get out of here, problem children. And then he says, Izuku, can you stay for a second? And Izuku's like, uh, sure. And Aizawa, kind of reading the mind of Izuku and Ochako. Because they stayed a little bit after. He goes, it's about to be here in five, four, three, two, one. And then they hear a knock at the classroom door. Aizawa says, Come in. Mike comes in and he has a big box a big box in his hand. Hands and Izuku smells bacon. And he looks at uh Aizawa and goes, No. And Aizawa goes, Yeah. I did this because you gave you you gave me something funny to look at. And Izuku goes, No, I didn't. I just gave you something. Oh, sorry. Let me rephrase that. I gave All Might what he deserved. And Aizawa goes, Exactly. You gave me something funny to look at. And Mike says, Do you still have the recording? And Aizawa says, Definitely. And pulls out a flash drive. And all the teachers of UA were... 90% of the teachers of the UA were standing outside of the classroom listening to conversation. The only two teachers that weren't standing outside the classroom listening to conversation were Mike and Aizawa. And he tells them to have a good time. And then he yells out to the crowd outside the classroom saying, come on in here. We're going to have a theater night. And all of them run in and sit at the desks and pull out the projector, and Izuku starts laughing and walks out with the big box of bacon donuts. They walk to the <sighs> to the um, dorms and walk into their dorms and say, and then he calls in Mina and Kirishima and says, "We have something to share with you guys." Mina and Kirishima, who are about to leave, walk in and say, okay, it's going to need to hurry. And Mina, who's dressed up, and Kirishima, who's in a tux. And Mina is in a nice dress, says that we are about to go out. And Izuku goes, it can wait. You guys can go. It can wait. I didn't know you guys were leaving this soon. And they both walk out and Go to the car Kirishima owns. Because Kirishima is not as poor as he was. And he's able to drive in this one. Just because I want him to be able to drive. So. Mina and Kirishima go to the movies. And have a good time at the movies. And. And they leave and they get back after three hours of being out and they see two donuts sitting on the counter in the girls dorms with a note saying Mina and Kirishima. And Mina and Kirishima walk up and read the note and it says for your for your friendship and for your loyalty to the pack, I have given you your first gifts. And Mina and Kirishima look at each other and ask each other, what, do you, what does he mean by loyalty to the pack? Obviously, we're going to be loyal to him because he's a friend. And they look at each other confused and thinking the same thing. These look good. So they start digging in and they're like, these are freaking heaven. And Izuku and Ochako took the other 46 donuts. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the other 46 donuts to Ochako's room and started eating them. <laughs> and <laughs> they watched the movie. And after they're done eating the donuts, Izuku starts starts a round of foreplay with Ochako. And does exactly what he wanted it to do, and they have a really fun night. Yeah, they have a really fun night. And Mina and Kirishima have the exact same night as Ochako and Izuku. And Izuku wakes up and he sees his angel on his chest naked. And he thought it was a dream at first. Then he sees her naked and he's like, oh, it wasn't a dream. And he slowly gets up and gets out of bed without waking her and gets dressed and goes downstairs and grabs the last two donuts that are left in the bed in the box. Takes them upstairs and waves it in front of his sleeping angel and slowly says, wakey, wakey. And when she finally wakes up, she sees that the donut is wa being waved in her hand in front of her face and she immediately grabs it and starts eating. Yeah, she grabs it and starts eating. And when they get to class, she's smiling like she had the best night ever. And Mina's doing the same thing and and they're acting like sisters. Now they're acting like sisters. Izuku and Kirishima are basically punching and jabbing at each other with insults and laughing it off. And when Bakugo gets in there and he sees Izuku punching and jabbing at Kirishima and Kirishima punching and jabbing back with insults. And them having a laughing fit remembers the old, good old times with Izuku. And Izuku feels this aura of sadness from Katsuki. And he says, Bakugo, I have a question for you. And Kirishima, knowing where this is going, is like, dude, just say yes. You don't even need to eh, get the question. Just say yes. And he goes, what's the question? And Izuku says, one of my abilities is to form a pack. And you get benefits from the pack. And he says, would you like to join my pack? And Bakugo goes, definitely. This is a... Yeah, I'm going to try to end this around two hours. I'm not going to, I'm trying to not go any longer than two hours. So, Baku is definitely, and once he agrees, he doesn't feel any difference. And Izuku goes, okay, now you got to find some way to incorporate a wolf theme into your costume and <sighs> he originally was turned on slightly by Ochako looks at Ochako now and is immediately turned off because he feels threatened by her and he asks Izuku, without knowing what he's saying, is she yours? And Izuku immediately answers without 
while noticing that he doesn't know what he's saying, he goes, yes, she's mine. And when Izuku says, said mine, Ochako looked up and jumped onto Izuku and hugged him. Because they're basically connected with all of their quirks being connected. And he also says this is the second in command of the pack. I'm the pack leader. If I'm not there to give you orders, she is there. She's the next in command. And then he then points to Bakugo and says, because nobody else is there besides Denki and Bakugo and the rest of the pack. And he goes, he's the general, points to Mina. She's the gossip person and points to Kirishima. He's the therapist. Kirishima goes, what do you mean I'm the therapist? He goes, you have the most empathy out of everybody here. Bakugo, the loud mouth, insanely good at fighting person. And he points at Mina, the loud mouth, gets people to talk person. And the then he points to Ochako, the beta. Then he points to himself, I'm the alpha. And Mina's like, those are perfect titles for us. And Denki goes, I want to join. And Izuku goes, sorry, there's no room for a jester yet. <laughs> and Bakugo starts laughing. Because <laughs> it's kind of funny that Denki gets called a jester. Even when Izuku still barely remembers Denki. Everybody's been calling Denki the dumb idiot and the jester of the class. And Izuku then just says, uh, what am I kidding? You've been family. You were family to me when I was little. You can be the jester. And Denki goes, why am I the jester? And Izuku walks up to Denki and says, you're the jester because you're the jester. And he puts out his hand and Denki instinctively handshakes him. And Bakugo did the same when he accepted. Kishima did the same when he accepted. And Mina did the same when she accepted. And Bakugo asks, is your, quirk is your quirk's ability transmitted by a handshake? And he goes, no. The agreement seals it. But the deal is sealed by a handshake. Or for me and Ochako, and he pulls her in for a hug. He says that it was sealed by a hug. She starts smiling and cozying up to him a lot more. And he does the same to her. And Aizawa walks in and says, Okay, class is going to start in ten minutes. Everybody else is coming down the hall now. And Izuku says... Before they get here, Aizawa, would you like to be part of my pack? And Aizawa goes, let me think about it. Are there any benefits and uh, risks? And Izuku says there's one risk. If you, def if you defy my order, you lose the privilege to be called a pack member for a week and you lose your taste for a week. That's the only risk. But after three defiant, defiance, three defying me, you're out of the pack forever and you lose your taste forever. And Aizawa says, well, that's not that bad if I defy you. And Izuku says, you lose your taste. That means you can't smell anything either. And Aizawa goes, oh... Okay, are there any benefits? And Izuku goes, yes. You have an in innate sense for danger. And you have an innate sense for emotions. And you're a even lighter sleeper. 
and Aizawa says, that last one's going to be a really difficult one, because I already wake up to a nail dropping on the floor. Now I have to wake up to a needle dropping on the floor? And Hizuku goes, no, no, no. The nail is the limit for a human, a natural human body. And Isaac goes, oh, okay, so I'm at my limit now. And he goes, yeah. Oh, and it fixes your eyes slightly. And Isaac goes, oh, then sign me up. <laughs> then he goes, okay, go to scout. And Isaac goes, what do you mean I'm the scout? And he points to him, Alpha, points to uh, Uraka, or Ochako, Beta, and lists them all out. And then before he gets to Denki, he points to Aizawa and goes, you're the scout. And then he points to Denki, the jester. <laughs> and Denki's like, why am I the last one? And then he points to, and then he says, because you get the most benefit out of anybody here. And Denki's like, what do you mean? Izuku goes, your quirk now won't short-circuit your brain. Instead, you'll act stoned. And he's like, oh, okay. That makes sense. Wait, I'll act stoned? What is it? What does stone even mean? And Denki Denki's looking up all these things and he's like and Izuku's like Aizawa do you know what he has under his bed? And Aizawa goes yeah I know what he has under his bed. And Izuku goes you know whenever you do that special grass you have under your, breath, under your bed? And Denki's like you know about that? And Izuku goes, duh, I can smell it. You'll act like you just had five pounds of that. And Kaminari is like, oh, okay. And then Izuku says, but you're not going to be able to withstand the smell anymore, sorry. And Kaminari's like, dang, I'm going to have to throw it out. And Kirishima's like, no, I know someone else who's going to probably use it or could use it. And Denki's like, who? And Kirishima says, uh, Todoroki, he, he, he kind of has a problem. And and um, what was that? Kirishima was telling Denki to give Todoroki the special grass, and <laughs> we skip to the end of the day, and Izuku walks up to everybody in class and asks them a few questions as a test. And he asks two more people to join their, join his pack. And these two people are, uh, Hagakure and, hmm. Gakure and who else would be a good one? Tokoyami would be instinctively scared of them. Sue would be instinctively scared of them. Momo still is Momo. No, not Momo. Um, Sue 
So Hagakure would be drawn to Danki because of his quirky personality and her like of his quirky personality. And who would be a good match? Um... I have not seen this one done. Shoji, the Dupla Arms guy, is now a girl. And instead of three arms, she, ju she just has two arms. And Izuku asks Hagakure and Shoji to join his pack, and they accept. And they're immediately drawn to Bakugo and... Kaminari. Hagakure to Kaminari and Bakugo to Shoji. Bakugo, yes, is still really chill on this one compared to Canon. So Shoji vibes with him a little bit more. And I'm going to end it there because it's been two hours of me recording this and I'm running out of ideas. Remember, I'll continue this at 150 if you guys get this up to 5 to 10 likes. And I'll continue this at 200 if nothing changes. If there's not 5 to 10 likes. The next time I check. So, talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye!